Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I want to show you a close-up of all the charms I have on my mini Star Wars design. So I have a larger uh, movie character things I like design that has some Star Wars charms on it, um, including Harry Potter and other things. It's just like a mix. But I have this mini, it's an open bangle on the sun and moon uh, design bracelet. And for Christmas, I actually got quite a few Star Wars charms. Well, I got one Star Wars charm for Christmas and then I purchased two more on the after Christmas sale. So my uh, little mini design is nicely rounded out now. It might be finished, it's gonna depend. You'll notice I have one charm in the back here that's like sliding around. Either I'll get another one to go opposite him and they can go up at the front part or he might work his way into my larger design bracelet. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this hidden on the back, hanging out, doing whatever they want charm thing. This is what I do when I don't have a good place to put them in a design. Uh, but I'll show you that all close up so you can actually see who it is, what he looks like, what he's doing there. Either way, we're gonna take a look. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charms on this little Star Wars mini design. I'm gonna show you which ones they are and what I've done with them. It's a fun little design to wear and I've really been enjoying it. So let's get right into it. All right, y'all. So here is my current mini design. I have R2D2, Leia and Han with the uh, Millennium Falcon on the back. I have Baby Yoda, and I have Princess Leia, and I love this one with the blue behind it, and on the very back it says, don't mess with this princess. I think it's very fitting. But as you know, if you watched my Christmas video and my Christmas haul video, I got several new charts for Christmas. Dun, da, da, da. I got BB-8, I got the sweet little Ewok, and I got the Death Star. They're hard to like show, not on a rod. So I'm going to be going ahead, going to be going ahead, that's not English, I'm going to go ahead and switch this up so that I have all of my charms on my little mini design. This is of course the open bangle with the sun and moon uh, in caps. And I believe this was a free bangle that I got during a promotion. I, I never probably would have purchased this one, but I thought it was perfect for Star Wars with the uh, space theme. So you take it off as always by pushing in and twisting that end cap. And I'm going to put one more charm, one more bead charm on either side. And then I might end up putting my Ewok on my other bracelet that I have that has a whole bunch of different characters. I like to stack this bracelet and that one. But I don't want to take that bracelet all apart today. So instead, we're just going to put him on the back of this guy. So I think opposite baby Groot, not Groot, baby Yoda. I keep wanting to call him Groot. I don't know why, because I'm thinking of Marvel, I guess. All right, so opposite baby Yoda, I'm going to put the Death Star. And then I'm going to put uh, BB-8 opposite Han and Leia. So when you're putting these on, you need to make sure that we're sliding it on with the front facing the way we eventually want it to face. Otherwise, things will be upside down. Uh, I don't know that I want both Leia's next to each other. Let's go ahead and just switch that one for the Death Star. I was trying to avoid having the two spherical ones. No, let's do BB-8 the two spherical ones like right next to each other. 
even though most of these actual charms are spherical, which was kind of the, the point of the design. Yeah, I like that better. Don't want the two exact circles next to each other and then the two non-exact circles next to each other. So use that clip or spacer. Hold those in place. Next, like I said, I'm gonna just slide my little Ewok friend on. He will be able to hang out at the back of the bracelet when I'm wearing him, which I like. It's like a fun little surprise that nobody sees but you. I've been doing that with my Avengers bracelet. I have the Spider-Man selfie charm on the back and it just makes me smile, which is kind of the point. So I think mission accomplished. So now we will put Han and Leia on, followed by R2-D2, capping it off with the Death Star and our ink cap. We may change it around. Like I said, if I switch, I might switch BB-8 or my Ewok to my other bracelet. I don't wanna do that today. I just want a simple design for my mini design. There we go. I'm always very gentle with those end caps because not knowing it was a push and twist once, my mom just like pulled really hard and stripped it off and ruined one of my end caps and I had to have it fixed. It was a whole thing. So let's go around. We've got, of course, the star end cap, sun and moon, stars and moon. We have the Death Star, which is technically a clip. So if I wanted to use him as a clip, I could put a silicone liner in there. He has so much detail. Here's your hallmarks. We have R2-D2, who is probably my favorite of the Star Wars uh, charms because of how much he moves, like literally all his arms and appendages move and then his head literally lets him spin all the way around. And I mean, you guys, look how detailed he is. He's got the little rollers on the bottom even. It's crazy how much detail they put in some of these charms. Han and Leia, and it says, I love you at the top. There's your hallmarks, LFL, Pandora. I know on the bottom and the Millennium Falcon. They're just so sassy, which is like, <laughs> oh, I love that. I just, I really enjoy them. I do love that R2-D2 has these blue details on the star CZs. And if we come over to this side, Princess Leia has the same ones. So both of those bales match. We have Baby Yoda waving from his little ball. His hallmarks, I believe, are on the side there, LFL. Pandora. Princess Leia. I love how she has the CZs and our signature buns. And then there's the Death Star and the Blue Moon. That enamel is so pretty. Don't mess with this princess. Love it. And BB-8. So I originally was thinking he has Pandora on his head <laughs> and his head like R2-D2 spins all the way around. I was originally thinking, back to what I was saying, that I would switch my Ewok to my other bracelet, but I had the other Pandora button charm with R2-D2 and Chewbacca, or no, C-3PO on my other bracelet. And so now I'm thinking, well, maybe I move the other button charm here where BB-8 is, move BB-8 to the other bracelet, especially because most of this bracelet is silver and blue. He's the only orange here. And my other bracelet is mostly blacks and golds and the orange won't be as out of place there. I'll have to do it another day because I don't want to I don't wanna take, that's a full bracelet all apart. And my Ewok friend, like my scruffy Yorkie Biddy. 
I love that. And I love that he's just kind of hidden. And when you wear this, he will probably fall to one side or the other, which is fine. He goes with either side. If I get another charm, I might get the Chewbacca charm. Then I could easily add the Ewok and Chewbacca to either side. But for now, this is my Star Wars mini design. Let me know what you're thinking. Should I switch BB-8 out for that other button charm? Do you like it how it is? Because I do kind of like having R2-D2 and BB-8 both on here. Do you like to put one charm on the back like this when you wear an open bangle? I really like wearing this with my design up front with the end clasps since they are special and show those off. Whereas most open bangles, I would put my design on the front here. So let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video. There we go. Bye y'all.